enough. Hello, everyone. Can everybody hear me okay? We still have a few people trickling in. Matthew, I'm going to mute your mic. Your mic. No, oh, is it not already muted? No. Thank you. Oh. Sounds like we had someone else who had a echo. Sometimes that can happen from having a speaker too close to the microphone. Okay, I'm going to start taking a roll call from the names in the chat. And then if I miss anybody, just let me know. Yeah, call the meeting. To, I'm calling the meeting to order. Okay, 6.33 p.m. All right, Matthew, President Matthew Barrett is here. Here, I'm going to go searching for a flag that we can wave at. All right, Vice President Ron Scherer, I do not believe he is here. Uh, Treasurer Don Henry. There we are. When we're ready to do flag salute, I can share screen. Okay. And I've got Sally Gill, Cheryl Elfstrand, 
we need to be keeping track of the board separately uh, from the new board. Oh, I put this in the wrong spot. Sorry, hold on one second. Try that again. Alexis Martin, Brandy Reinerson. Desiree Murphy, Greg Mitchell, Karen Mitchell, Karen's twin, Megan. Megan, is that a uh, Equinta? Equinta, yes. Equinta. I'll get it one to the one of these years. E content. Okay. Thank you. And then John Becker is Mildred, correct? That's correct. Okay. And we've got Rhonda Hart. Is there anybody's name that I did not say? Chris Willis. Oh, Christy Willis. I wrote it down, but I didn't say it out loud. Sorry. And someone, oh, there's Rhonda. Okay, I think we are ready for the flag salute. All right, sharing screen now. It only works oh, when... Hold on one second. I'm shutting mine down. Okay. Somehow. Pause share. There we go. Okay, sharing screen. All right. I pledge allegiance, pledge allegiance to, the, to flag the flag of the United, United States, States of America, of America and, and to the republic, republic for which it stands, stands one nation, nation under, under God, God indivisible, indivisible, with liberty and justice, and justice for, all. for all. I didn't know the other thing was stopping. It's way too much. Just a couple people. <clears throat> That's way too much. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. So, reading and adoption of December's meeting. If you have it up in front of you in the chat, I did put the link of uh, the where the agenda can be found. So you should be able to open up last month's meeting minutes. That's mm -hmm. not easy. I don't see the link in my in the chat on Zoom Here, for the me. minutes. It was part of the general meeting agenda. OK. Well, she said that she put it in the chat, so I just wanted to. Oh, my apologies. I meant I had the agenda is in there, and then last meeting minutes are linked. But I can actually copy link euro. There we go. Did let me make sure everybody has access real quick. Here we go. Did that work, Desiree? Yes, it did. Sorry, I had to get back. I was in the minutes before no worries sorry yes it, 
Perfect. And I'm realizing that this information wasn't put in there apparently. For the current meeting, do we have a quorum? I was hoping, let me see. We have me, you, of the current board, we only have three members. Shonda, oh, is Farrell with you? It's actually me, it's Farrell. Okay, so Farrell okay. is here as well now. Okay, good. Uh, Malik just joined. So with five members, that's barely a quorum. Mm-hmm. Um, And Rhonda said in the chat that her last name is now Sparks. Oh, I apologize. <laughs> is anyone actually at the club? Because I understand Rex and Carol are counting the votes there, but they are not replying to texts. So I don't know that if they're going to be joining us. I do not know the answer to that. Has anybody heard from Don? He would have been the one that let them into the safe. Is he still there? Uh, he, they said that he was gone by the time they arrived. He had simply pulled the ballots out of the safe for them to count. Okay. So no, I have not heard from Don. Do you want to call? Are they answering calls at all? Have you attempted to call or just I've text? tried to call? Let me try it again. Okay. They have the results of, you know, our super tight knit yeah. <laughs> results with uh, all these loops and turns and surprises coming our way. Hmm. <clears throat> Well, if unless it, can I move at this point? Make a motion. Nope, I move to adopt last month's meeting minutes. By second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Call the question. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed. Opposed. Motion carries. Okay, so while he's trying to get a hold of um, Rex and Carol, that means we do not have a treasurer's report either. I feel like we need background music. That'd make it too easy. <laughs> By the way, you're not supposed to make the motion. It's got to be somebody who did not make the, did not write the minutes. I was no just looking at that too. I was like, I don't know that I am supposed to. So I was just looking <laughs> at that too. So thank you for the correction. That's okay. I would have said it if you hadn't. <laughs> and it's the same way with the treasurer. They can't put in, you know, to have it passed. Okay, good to know. Because they're the ones who made the, you're the one who wrote the notes. They gave the information. The, the treasurer. Okay. Just note of, I mean, if we had a hundred people here, that'd be a lot different than with the few that we have. Absolutely. But this is where we are trying to make sure that we are following as much as we can so that we can prevent any kind of confusion and things like that. 
right. in the future. So, Because if somebody has not read through the notes, you could have put something in there that was never talked about. Exactly. So just that, that note sense. of, you know, ahead of time. Propriety. You know, how it possibly could be done. This is exactly what we want for the coming year. We have got to get to be more by the book. Do you want me me to be the meanie? (laughs) Do you you want me to make the motion to accept the minutes? No, it's already been done. We just let it go this time. Okay. For future though, yes. (laughs) All right, that brings us to reading of communications, the rental report. Let me try and get a hold of Don. Let's see. While we're waiting for Dawn and my fur babies and actual babies are cackling in the background. Having fun. No, there's, it's, um, Well, I can let it be known that, let's see, we'll skip down just a little bit. And as soon as I start talking, so do they. Uh, Viewpoint Park is still closed until April 1st. Um, the newsletter, I'm going to try to get one out here before the end of January and hopefully have that be uh, every three to four months. Um, that would get us in just about every season so um i'll wait to talk about publicity uh events is meeting uh as of right now um shonda now that it's january shonda davis is the new events manager um events chairperson i should say And so I don't know if she'll be keeping the same schedule as far as when the events committee is meeting. Um, So I'll have to touch base with her. Mm -hmm. Is her meeting open to anybody? Yes. Okay. Yes. And the more heads, the better. I mean, and there's always, uh, there's always committees looking for helpers. Okie dokie. No answer from Don at either of his numbers and still no response from Carol and Rex. Okay. Um... Also, as far as any dates that are happening around the club, we are trying really hard to keep the Google Calendar as updated as possible. Uh, So please keep an eye on that as well for any updates. Um, I mean, officially, 
I'm not sure what we do as far as the uh, nominations and all that. There wasn't exactly a race. <laughs> I mean, there, there wasn't any. Uh, there was still room for more. So, yeah. Well, under the circumstances, and especially because I don't know if people can hear, it's very loud where I am. We can um, hear you, okay? Yeah, I, I can barely hear myself think. Um, I'm wondering if the swearing in of new officers needs to be postponed. I don't know. I was I was really hoping to get it done this this month but we don't have the the swearing in documents we don't have the votes um yeah i move that we table the nominations until next month when we have the information collected and gathered officially yeah i second we have a motion and a second is there any further discussion all in favor say aye aye, aye. aye. anyone opposed say nay um this is cheryl can you hear me yeah Okay, I just have a question. Does this mean then for the board meeting in January that the old uh, board members would then um, appear for that or be on Zoom? And then we just, if it's table, then we would we still take the old uh, composition for the January board then? Well, that is an excellent question. We were talked about we need to be more by the book. I'm not sure how the book would apply in a situation like this, because on the one hand, you could argue that the new board members, uh, until the new board members are sworn in, the old ones occupy those seats. On the other, when the, they were elected, they were only elected for one year. So what would the book say about something like this? You'd probably have the, um, the new board members as board elect and the old board members until you can do the installation. They're still considered board members. Okay. Until, but you'd want to um, kind of aim towards making sure everybody knows to be in the January meeting. Yep. New, new and old board meeting members. Yeah. That sounds good. We'll just try and have everyone at the next meeting. You know, we're going to have new and, and uh, we're going to have the board elect and the old board. Right. And so that's two weeks from tonight. Right. Yep. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're in, um, all the old board and the new board are encouraged to be there. Yes. Mm -hmm. one, one other question. Are there going to are there any board member positions that are not going to be filled? Because you didn't have enough people running. I mean, is it as I understand it, the only board position that is that does not have anyone slated for it is vice president. Actually, we got Kayla Sullivan, I believe. Oh, okay. At the Christmas dinner, um, Sally is my witness. Uh, we were talking a lot about uh, um, her and she was more than what willing um, to, oh, be, to take on. So the only one we are missing is a board position. Oh, that's what but it the is. Okay. Officers, the officers have been slated we for all the officers we just need one more board okay i'm hoping that we're going to get a few volunteers in the the um ballots they're currently being counted just a question does your bylaws outline election process vaguely okay that might be a time to go through bylaws and make sure that they're up to date. Yeah, we did, it, we did that in January. We went through and, and we finally got them approved, I believe in March. Um, but these kind of things I don't think were touched on. I could be wrong. 
And then yeah. does the bylaws indicate that you adopt the Roberts rules of order as part of yes. your official? Okay. Okay. Yes. That is in there. Let me just pull up the bylaws real quick. I remember there was some sort of thing that got ironed out because the problem of having the past president, there was a dispute as to whether the past president needed to continue to be on the board um, after the first year. And then, but if they weren't, that meant that there were eight board members instead of nine, which allowed for ties. Well, usually the president does not get to vote unless there is a tie. Oh, that's a good point. So we could function with eight board members. Yes. Okay. Greg Mitchell has his hand up as well. Yes. Uh I had a question since we're on bylaws and elections. Is there anything in the bylaws that requires a certain amount of vetting for new members? Mm -hmm. Or do we just, because as long as I've been here, it seems like people are just, they can just show up and, 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 and that's fine with me. I just, um, and then they, they're a member. And then we, we say, okay, you're a member. Well, there's uh, the active members and then there's members. So there's those who pay their dues, but don't really become active in the committees and things like that. The active members are the ones who are supposed to be um, getting the, the benefits of membership status. Yeah, and there is... Uh... Also, this may answer your question, Greg. There's also the um, process of reading in new members, and there is a vote at that time to accept. Okay. So, uh, unfortunately, I mean, I, I'm a part of Rotary, for example, and there, there is actually, they open the... I'm trying to remember the exact terminology, but basically they say they announce that someone is joining the chapter and people have a week or so to object. We, we don't have that here. Unfortunately, if someone wanted to object to a member, they would have to do it in when the swearing in of that member in the membership meeting in public. So that might be something to consider for, a, for our next bylaws revision. Okay, thank you. Did that answer your question? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I don't care either way. I, I just, I, I just thought it was interesting that there, there didn't seem to be any vetting whatsoever for new members. You're right. Okay. You're right. Is it possible to get a, um, a copy of the bylaws? Absolutely. Yes. There are hard copies of the bylaws that are printed out at the club. You can also, uh, just by sending an email to wsicgroup at gmail.com, you can have one shared with you that way. Great. And I Thanks. believe that's, I believe I also have it on the website. Um, yeah, I think the that's website where I saw it. Yeah. I can okay. double check that, but yes, I believe they're available all over. Okay. Um, I'll look them up. If there was a procedure or not. Uh, Karen and I belong to a club up in Nome, Alaska, and they're more than happy to have new members. And they they've never vetted anybody either. And I just wondered if certainly, yeah, thing. But. Different types of clubs, like I said, Rotary has a method of vetting. I'm also part of BNI, and they have a method of vetting. The uh, neighborhood clubs like this, and sounds like the one in Alaska they especially they end up desperate for members and so if there was ever a vetting process they probably got rid of it yeah i don't see a vetting process in the bylaws but i do see the ability for the board to remove those members yes 
And there's also like for like the treasure and something, it does have something in there about the treasure being bonded as well. And that would help with our protection um, as far as the financial side of things. Yeah. Well, also you should be getting at least an annual audit done with the book. Yes. And, yeah. it, um, and the treasurer is not part of that. The treasurer has to be there, but the, she or he cannot um, change anything or everything has to be find equaled out and people who do the audit have to be objective and not part of the treasurer. I mean, it can't be a treasurer. Treasurer has to be there, but they, but he cannot be part of the audit committee. All right. And usually yes. it's board members have been the ones doing the audit and the treasurer is just there to get documents or clarify a posting that that's okay. usually that's all that's where it should be yep. yep the audits are definitely one of the things i'm pretty proud of how we've handled those um where are we are, were we in the middle of a motion i hope not but maybe we no. were no 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 we're waiting for um communications okay well it sounds like we are not getting any communications i can't get a hold of don or carol or rex Okay, so then events would be the next one on there. I know that John has the rummage sale that he could talk about. Yes, I'll talk a little bit about it. Uh, right now, there are, there are uh, about 50 tables that we normally set up. Uh, we have 10 tables asked for right now. And I, I, because all this stuff is being done uh, remotely, it's a little harder to do it. So I, I asked for a listing of membership so I could call and make sure I got a hold of people because I think it's very important if you want to sell at the sale and you like beside you want to be beside uh, Christy Willis, you know I, I'll try to work with you to get you there or, or if you want to be beside somebody else. I think we should have at least 40 tables or it doesn't make it worthwhile doing the sale. And uh, you know and I think there uh, and then I, I also found out that the, the board had made a decision that you know, the first first Debs went to the uh, members so I got to figure out a date that the members have got to have their uh, you know desire mm -hmm. to, to sell in you know before we get anybody else because uh, I think the club needs the club members need to have their first choice. And uh, so when I get the list, I'll call around to let everybody know about the sale and and, uh, and then if we can get up to 40 tables, which makes another 30 more than what I have right now, uh, we will go back up and uh, have the sale. And uh, it's a little bit harder to do everything because of this COVID and requirements in the, by, the, by the governor. And so it's a little harder to get everything all set up. So we'll have to wait and see. And we hopefully want to try to get 50 tables. 40 tables to sell. We got I got 50 tables. And I asked to also have the uh, you know, food service be set up. So we have that. And just for timing for everybody, we would, uh, you know, you can set up between 3.30 and 6.30 on, uh, on, uh, on Friday. And, uh, and I'll be over there at 7.30 in the morning to set up at you know, set up on uh, Saturday. So if you're, if you, if you don't, you know, if you're working on Friday and it doesn't work, then Saturday you can go from 7.30 to 9. And, uh, and only people that are selling in the sale are allowed to be in there. We're not letting everybody in because that's all stuff disappears and people get unhappy. So uh, it'll only be those, those that are selling to be at the sale. And uh, it has had very wide you know, success because we've been doing it for years, but now everything has stopped. So hopefully we're going to be able to put some advertisement up, uh, get your money in and, uh, you know, we use the money to go back up and, and to pay for the advertisement and uh, get that all set up. So we're ready to go. And, uh, you know, everybody needs to make, to bring their own money. It's everybody takes care of their own tables. They sell their own uh, things. And they, uh, when they get done with the, uh, you know, uh, you know, they make the payments to the individual that has the table, and uh, and it's very, and very, it's been very successful in the past, and I hope it's, it's going to be successful 
you know, in February. But we got to wait and see if we get the numbers. And what I'll do is I will get a hold of, uh, get the list and I'll start calling. And hopefully I get a hold of people and they can just tell me whether they do or do not want to sell. And if they don't want to sell, then I'll, when I, there's going to, I will pick up a date someday in the future and I'll just let, you know, other people know. And if we can get that in there, it's ready to go. But I think that's pretty well yet. If you've got anybody that has any questions. Yeah, this is Cheryl. Um, what about the ads now? Uh, where are we going to place? We also need to really stress the um, social media because a lot of people, um, you know, look there and we, so we don't have to pay for everything. So what are our plans for like paid advertising, for example? Well, I was planning to do the same thing I had done before. And that's, that's what the uh, 40 is kind of the number that pays and breaks everything even. I put an advertisement in the, in the sun telling that the, the sale will be the following week. And I run that for two days and I put an advertisement in the, the sun uh, the week of, and then I also do one in the county papers. And that all comes out to be like 160 or 170 or what it was previously. So that the 200 would break it even. And, you know, and it would just be, a, everything would break even. Social media will help, you know, it's just going to make more people there. We don't, just for people that are selling, we don't leave until, you know, we'll, the sale will run from nine to uh, nine to three. So nobody leaves before three o'clock and, or, you know, starts breaking down because that's the advertisement we're going to have out. Will we be placing in Craigslist? Cause that's often a kind of a. Um, yeah, there'll be some people that are going to put Craigslist. In. Yeah, that's real important. Thank you. Is this something that we would want to, so far the real big guns have been peach jar. Right. Uh, it's, it's spendy, but it's brought us a great return when it comes to people coming in. Is this something where we would want to use peach jar? Well, I, I, depends, don't know. I don't know. I'm not depends on if you have children's things, you know, um, to appeal to that, you have to be sure you That's have lots point. of children's things and, and clothes. And frankly, the last few sales that I've observed, um, there haven't been too many families with children coming through. It's mostly single adults or older people. Well, yeah. The, then again, we didn't advertise for them, so I don't know. Well, I think the thing will be is when I when I talk to people about selling, I get an idea of what they're going to sell so I can put the advertisement that reflects it. If there's going to be people that come in with children's clothes, then I'll put down children's clothes, you know, on the advertisement. So that makes it and then make sure to you know, the social media says that also, you know, and that way everybody will know what to expect or what to look for when you get to the sale. Yeah. How are you going to do the table? If there's any table choices or anything, um, how, well, how is that going to work? I would want to have the people that have, you know, signed up. I know Christy has told me where she wants to set. I've got her got hers locked in. And uh, what it is, I, I will try to balance out what people want. And you know, Cheryl gave her money to uh, somebody else. So I gotta I just gotta find out where she wants to wants to have their tables. And then I try to get people where they're by friends and you know that they, they can have a real enjoyable day of, you know, not only selling but enjoying each other. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing a chat. The, and there's information from the chat. Megan um, is saying bar stools. I don't see a problem selling bar stools. I actually sold a washer mm -hmm. at a uh, previous one. So, I mean, anything mm -hmm. you can fit in the door. Um, as for the question of MLMs, I understand that's a concern. Um, people who, there's certain events where they would be welcome and certain ones where they weren't, they wouldn't, since this one is members selling their secondhand items, I don't think MLMs would be welcome for this one. John, have you had anybody What's from MLM? MLMs? What's MLM? Oh, yeah, multi-level marketing. It's just people, people who are bringing their businesses to sell like, items uh, so well, we normally it's just been restricted to club but i i guess because of covid and everything like that that the board has decided that we're going to let other people in if we don't fill it up with club members but if we have 121 club members i would guess that we're going to fill up the 50 tables with club members yeah 
I don't. I don't see a problem with you know, uh, yeah, restricting this to members selling their own secondhand items. So, okay. yeah, and then the same would also go who with um, uh, the artisan market. They wouldn't be there either. So, yeah. Yeah, the artisan market would basically be if you don't make it yourself, you can't sell it kind of situation yeah. so that it's uh, now the holiday bazaar. We did allow some MLMs um, mm -hmm. because it was more for gift giving and it, it offered more things like that. And that so it was a different kind of event. So, no, this yeah. this would wouldn't be an appropriate venue for them. And usually all of because I handle the the October, uh, usually all the tables have been taken. So we haven't had an issue with outsiders. Yeah. I mean, we got 121 members. I would think that we're going to have our tables entirely full. But I mean, again, COVID, mm -hmm. COVID square does all this stuff different than what it was before. Yeah. I think the average was most people had at least two tables on average. Yeah. Some had three, but it depends. If you have a big volume of people who want it, then you have to make some choices about limiting it to two tables unless, you, you know, you can look at preferences for extra. But I don't think we're really going to have that problem this time. We don't know. I, I will call around to people and I'll find out. Yeah. Sounds good. I see that there's some additional concerns about MLMs in the chat. Since that's not for this event, I would recommend talking to the events committee about whether they would be welcome at which events. And you know, if you have concerns about having them welcome at any of our events, that would be a good thing to discuss with the events committee. This 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 one and two there's two sales and they've they've always been secondhand. Yeah. yeah, these this are just, this is strictly about secondhand stuff. Garage sale style. Yes. Yeah. Garage sale style. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. you know, some of the others people are people are coming in looking for garage sale stuff. And and I mean, we don't put out our, our arts and crafts stuff because we don't get the money for it. People don't want to pay. Yeah. Forty or fifty dollars for a handmade blanket or quilt or anything. Right, right. So you know, basically, they they wouldn't make the money at the sale. I mean, I don't care if they come in for their stuff, if they could, but ten to one, they won't make anything. Right, right. <laughs> well, I think it was I mean, a good thing to bring up. You know, I think it was a good thing to bring up and to consider. Um, we just, yeah, we just need to make sure that we're putting that to. Uh, we're directing that to where the attention needs to be to for the, the decision to be made. The events committee would be working on other events and deciding whether or if they would be welcome at any of them. Uh, moving on to publicity. Ooh, we got the letter board signed fundraising. Let's hear about that. Um, so there was uh, talk about the, the signs that are out there and it kind of got me going and my brain working. And I was thinking that it might be a better option for the club that instead of just having a sign, we get those slide tracks for those letters and they'd be like the six to eight inch letters that we can change out um, our messages depending on you know what events we got going on, if we wanna advertise for bingo or things like that. And I found all of the parts on Amazon and it was like $99 for the tracks and we can adjust it as for as big or small as we want. Um, and then I believe it was $99 for the letter. So it would be a total of $200 um, to pay for it. And Shonda and I um, had talked about potentially trying to do a fundraiser for it at one of the artists and marketplaces or things like that and try to raise that funds. Um, if, if it's manual put up, who's going to manual put up those things? I sure wouldn't want to do it. Oh, we, we would find somebody. I could certainly do it. I mean, in public, yeah, I mean, I have no problem helping with that as well, because the, the placement of where the sign is itself is is not too, um, too much of a pain in the butt to get to. So and hopefully we wouldn't be changing it like constantly. It would just be, you know, as events updated and Malik offered to help in chat, too. Thank you, Malik. Hey, so it would Malik, be a, it, it would be a way, great way to. um 
update it, you know, keep it updated and have that free advertisement as people driving by. Oh, yep. Marines come. And if I if I can interject, I, I have experience with boards like that and they are not hard to change those letters out. It, you know, it's it's Excellent. super, super easy to to slide them in and out. It's it's not something that's really time consuming. And Excellent. Especially if it's something that we have if it's something that we have set events for, you know, you can take pieces of uh, plexiglass or, you know, something like that and basically use Chandra, your cricket, and make um, latex letters and basically spell it out. So, you know, obviously we're going to be advertising bingo all the time. So make out, you know, ones that it's all pre-spelled out and then you just slide the piece of plexiglass in there and you're not doing individual Excellent letters. Excellent point. That's a really good idea. A, we can even make our own emojis. Insane. Exactly. Yeah. It's 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 super, super easy to deal with things like that. Now are the are these boards going to be on site at the club? Because I know we've used some kind of boards out further when we're advertising like for the rummage sale. Is this going to be an on-site thing so we don't get just, you know, someone picks them up or steals oh, them? Oh no, yeah. Do you know the, the you know how um we just recently replaced the the wood signs right on on the uh, the corner in front of the garden? Those big wooden signs. Yes. Oh, okay. So it's on the premises. It's not going to be somewhere off, yes. you know, like on right. Yeah. It, it's okay. going to be that sign, but we're going to take okay. down because the the vinyl that's on there is okay. it's not hard to remove, and so we're going to take down the vinyl that's on there where it just says the West Side Improvement Club, and instead put the tracks to those that we can have the changeable letters, so that okay. it was okay. using the same using the the facilities that's already built. Okay, yep. well, that, yeah, that makes more sense. Okay. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So <laughs> um, we're not voting yet on uh, purchasing it because it sounds like the artists and marketed they're going to do a fundraiser. Look forward to seeing that. And then is there anything else on this? I do not believe so. All right. And newsletter, you, you already mentioned that you have plans for that to go out. Yep. Anybody wants a snail mail newsletter, just request. Nothing from community development. Viewpoint Park is closed until April 1st. Community Garden is likewise on hiatus. Sunshine Committee uh, Chairperson Rosetta Gunsell has not been attending the meetings, but has been very active. I just messaged her today about someone in our community who was sick, and she is going to be getting out a Get Well card. So. Hmm. Uh, very pleased with how she's been able to handle things there. Um, yeah, we're still working on some of the channels there for communication, but if anybody knows someone in our club who is sick or in need of a card, just uh, let me know and I'll get the word to her, or uh, you can friend her on Facebook and send it over Messenger that way. I know she was very active that way. We have kitchen manager available to report. Oh, who made the Christmas cards? Were there homemade ones? Yeah, they were homemade. I, uh, I'd have to look up the names. They actually donated. They made them and donated them. Yes, that was very. I sweet. have that somewhere. At, yes, I apologize. I meant to find that number, that name before I got on. They and each one was different. Like there were, they were not That's all the amazing. same. That's amazing. So, um, yeah. Well, uh, I, I would like to see some kind of special recognition. Maybe we can table that until next time too. We can find out who that was, but. Um, they yeah, were the I ones who, was, who was it that dropped them off to you, Matthew? Um, Shonda. Oh, was it Shonda? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I'll have to find out. Okay. This might be something yeah. that take a picture for the scrapbook or something to kind of show something you know this is another recognition thing you know of the kind of things if that's possible anytime yeah. someone does something like that Do, is the kitchen manager available to give us an update um he is available i don't know if he has anything with him here yeah if nothing to update that's fine Anything to update in the kitchen or anything you need to? 
still consistently making a profit. He made between three and four hundred dollars profit in December. Excellent. Excellent. Glad to have that as a new income stream. Well, that was quick. Are we doing bingo this this starting tomorrow? Yes, we are doing bingo starting tomorrow. Um, the weather forecast looks good, of course, forecasts being what they are. If the weather changes, we're, we'll cancel it if we have to do it the day of. But uh, so far, I see no reason to keep it closed. Oh, there was one thing I wanted to mention. Uh, there was a member who recently passed, uh, Helen Arnold. Oh, um, and Dawn's daughter as well. Uh, and I feel terrible. I cannot, is it, I don't know her name. It isn't Peggy, is it? It's Peggy. It's Peggy. Peggy. I can't remember. Peggy's, her last name. Peggy's his daughter. I don't know what her last yeah. name is, but. Okay. Yeah. I think it's Dawn. I think it's Henry also. Okay. Peggy Henry. Yeah, I think it's Peggy Henry. Peggy Henry. Okay. I think. And then one, yeah. one last, oh, and the one last thing I wanted to bring that I forgot to put on the agenda. Um, Don Henry has been treasurer for, I don't even know how many years. That's part of the problem. Uh, I would like to have a plaque of some sort put up in the club and, and, or offered to him. I don't know what the protocol has been in the past for his, multiple gener you know, decades of service to the club. So does anybody know what's been done in the past or how to go about that? Mm. Carol might know, she's the oldest member, I think. Yes. I don't know if Debbie would know or not. But Carol would have the best, best information. Okay. Yeah. And then do, so do you know if in the past it's something that's usually given to them or just puts on the wall? Does anybody know that? Don't know. Okay. I want to keep with tradition. So that's what I want. I'll talk to Carol. They've okay. had plaques of past presidents. I think that's the only thing. Okay. Yeah. There's a past, there's a past president's uh, board that's on, over by the fireplace. Shonda? Yes. I had a question about the ballots because of the snow last week. I was stuck in Polso for 10 days from basically okay. the 23rd of December until the, well, till today. Um, well, is it too late to call it in or should I just shut it, throw it away or what? Um, did you have any written in names on there by chance? No, I didn't. Okay, then those ones have been counted, um, I believe, today. So we won't need to worry about it, but I appreciate that. Are Sorry. you back home now? Uh, not yet. I should hopefully be there tonight. Oh, good and luck. Been... Drive safe. What's that? I said, please drive safe. Yeah, I'm out in Polsbo right now. I care get out in Polsbo, so I've been staying at her house half the time and I was staying at my friend's house out here in Polsbo half the time. But yeah, basically from Christmas Day my car was stuck out in Polsbo until now. Mm. Yuck. So I should be home tonight for at least one night. Okay. Well, best All right, of thank luck. you. Thank you. Okay, that was all I had. All right, then let's have the drawing. Give me just a minute. I got to load in the names. That was what something I Anthony forgot. To... What, what was that? Sally? What about the unfi well, you have the unfinished business number 10 on the list. Oh, it was meant to be for um, the swearing in. Nope. No, I don't think we have any unfinished. Yeah, uh, we have system. Oh, uh, we deleted it. We deleted because I had put on the Clover system before when I sent it to you guys. Um, we got a new update um, on Clover because there was some hiccups in the 
um, process because we have two different accounts for the club. We have the general and we have the bingo account. And so that was causing some issues as far as our point of sales. Um, they did send us two new quotes um, on one, and it also is cheaper on the way we've got it set up now. So we're going to send that to the finance uh, committee and let them figure all that stuff out as well. Okay. So that's Just why it wondering. got deleted. Okay. Let me grab... No, we're not doing number nine, the swearing in of new officers. Correct. So. All right. Let me get all the names of our current. Not in too much switched. <clears throat> I love that I now see the process in case I ever need to do this. <laughs> Sometimes I forget the screen shares on. All right. Click to spin. Cool. It is pretty nifty. Julio Ruiz. Julio Ruiz. Not here. Okay. Let me... Keep track of his name, and then we go again. Mark, Mark Dahl. Dahl, not here. Getting closer. Let He's at least somewhat active. <laughs> <laughs> you could put that in a newsletter, and maybe they'll start coming to meetings. Yes. yes. Yeah, we usually did Lori that. Lori Perry. Even closer. Yep. Okay. All right. So we just do the three times, right? Yes. Yep. Yeah. All right. So let me write. Okay. So we had. Julio Ruiz. Is that a cumulative? <laughs> Does it add up? No. <laughs> no. But it makes me wonder, since we have so many more members these days, I wonder if we should draw five instead of three. We should put that on the agenda for next time. Oh, we were spinning for a $25, I believe it's a gift card, correct? Yes. Yeah, so it's a $25 gift card. And uh, so now we have a way to draw it in front of everybody's eyes. And we only use the uh, current members list. Yeah. So, yeah. All right. Anything Can I else ask for the good of the club? Yeah, this is Cheryl. Um, okay, I guess right now with with Don going into retirement and Deborah Grace is not going to be going for the treasurer. That's my understanding. So, do we have a treasurer for next year? How is this going to be handled now? The transition. Yes, we have someone who has thrown their hat into the ring and with no one that they're running against. Uh, all the votes for Deborah Grace are now null and void since she has withdrawn. Okay. So, yes. Uh, uh, Brand she's here, actually. Brandy here. Yeah, Brandy, you want to introduce yourself? Yes. <laughs> Hi. Welcome. <laughs> yeah. Well, so nice I surprise. Yeah, so I'm a fairly new member to the club. Um, I was introduced uh, to the club from uh, Juanita Talavera. Um, I've known Juanita Talavera for probably close to 30 years. Um, anyway, so I uh, am in a position for my career and my personal life that I can volunteer some time. Um, and have asked to be part of either a board member or a treasurer. Um, I work for the city of Port Orchard and um, I've been the city clerk for the last um, 10 years. Um, I have also uh, been on um, the Fathoms of Fun in Port Orchard board as the treasurer um, due to a conflict of interest with me um, being on the lodging tax funds for the city and also being the treasurer for the Fathoms of Fun, um, it felt that um, there was a strong um, conflict because I work for the city as well on the board, so I resigned. Um, but I have also been mm -hmm. a treasurer of 
Club's uh, soccer elite club. I've also been the treasurer for mm -hmm. um, my Girl Scout troop that my daughter was in for kindergarten all the way up to 10th grade. Um, so I have some treasure experience. And then I also, as a part of a co-founder of a new um, organization that was started about five years ago, which is the Washington Association of Public Records Officers. That's my day job, um, was the treasure for them to get them on, on the um, ground up and running and have actually been quite success, successful in, um, uh, for, for the state. So I uh, took a few years off. And so now I'm ready to uh, volunteer my time outside of Port Orchard because that's where I work. Mm -hmm. um, and so there's no conflict of interest for me volunteering my time in the city of Bremerton. So I am throwing my hat in the ring and hopefully that uh, you guys will accept the, the uh, nomination and I can be your guys' treasure. You got my vote. Yeah, that's great. What about, what about the cashier and bingo now? Is that still empty? No, Shonda no. Davis has been hired. Oh, sorry. Okay, Go ahead. Sure. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we've got a cashier, Shonda Davis. Okay, cool. Now, um, on the finance committee, Deborah Grace was the chair on that. And there was a lot of um, things that were to be worked on, you know, spreadsheet stuff. Is that all going to be just in suspense? Or, I mean, I don't, I don't know why she resigned everything. I don't know if you want to discuss that or not, but I was a little surprised. There's a lot of things that are just kind of just left sitting there, especially like this budget thing. So I don't know what the what the uh, potential is in the future for this or sharing information. I don't know if you have anything that you care to share on that. Well, Deborah Gray certainly was doing a lot and she yes. will be missed. The, the uh, based on how I've seen things, the, the, this club was a little unusual by separation of the finance committee uh, from the treasurer role. I've looked at how it's done in most other clubs and the treasurer is de facto automatically head of the, the finance committee. So mm -hmm. Brandy would be taking that role as well. But I'm going to talk with her and make sure she's comfortable with that. We can keep them separate if that's preferred. Um, but either way, we're there are people who are stepping up to take over those roles that uh, from when Deborah left. Um, Deborah did say that she is throwing her hat in the ring to be the assistant bingo manager. So I'm, I, she has my support on that. Very excited to see her in that role. But th these other roles will be filled one way or another. Okay. And for the record, that's consistent with the other boards that I've been on is that, and even at the city, the, the uh, typically yeah. the chair is, is a board of directors of some sort that is the staff liaison to that committee. Mm -hmm. um, and then also for the record, I am a notary and I am bonded. And then I am also bonded um, through the city as well, just based on my, uh, uh, the nature of my job. So getting bonded through here is, is not gonna be an issue as well. Excellent. So yeah, I'm gonna be speaking with new board members. We wanna try and have it done like it's done in other clubs where each board member is chair of preferably one and only one committee. And I'm gonna be talking with the new board members about what they're comfortable with. Uh, other chairs will then be selected from other willing members of the club. Uh, someone has their hand up. Happy New Year, everyone. Yes, I'm, I'm just wondering from an incentive point of view to get members to show up to the meeting. Um, I, I don't know what else to do to get to motivate people. I'm just thinking out loud here. Uh, what if the drawing was a cumulative and you posted that prior to a meeting and say, hey, look, it's up to $75 or something like that. Is that, <laughs> you see what I'm saying? I, I mean, Dang. we are in the bingo business. I mean, <laughs> we've got the oh, members yeah. jackpot. It, it, it's basically <laughs> like another jackpot. Yeah, yeah. I, I just think we need more incentive. I, I hate to say it, but I think if we advertise that as saying it's up to, you know, so and so, see you at the next meeting, you know, or something <laughs> like that, you know. What if it were, you know, the amount of people who attended the meeting was the amount of money they added to the pot? <laughs> oh, dang. <laughs> well, 
I think Sorry. just like with the bingo, we would have to go through and do the math. We have never made it cumulative. How far would it go? How long has it been since someone has won? Uh, um, Shonda it, won last month or the month before. Okay. And then it'd been a so, while, but yeah. How do we fund that? Megan is asking. Right. So we've got to figure out, Do you know, can we afford for it to go all year with no one winning because we're up to 300 members and because everyone wants a piece of it you know uh mm -hmm. and then having someone win whatever 25 times 12 is you know i don't know something to think about you have a man so yeah, have, so, a yeah, yeah um, have a cap yeah yeah cap. you know i don't want to immediately throw something on our our new mm -hmm. uh treasurer's plate but if we could just put that table that until we have let everybody take a breath and then you know have the finance committee look into that treasurer mm -hmm. and whoever else wants to help them on that committee that'd be a great thing to research can we afford to do that and you know how would how would the numbers work out is that something we are allowed to do we can do bingo but other forms of gambling i'm not sure what we're allowed to do and I don't know if we can use that as an incentive to be a member. I think there is right. some kind of issue there. Yep. So okay. uh, I'll, I'll throw this out there too. And I can't remember if it has been mentioned. I've, I've been here at most of the meetings and I don't remember, but is the March uh, members dinner, is that still on or is that? That's what I was just going to bring up too. <laughs> that was something that we kind of did. Uh, uh, dipped over in all the confusion. Um, yes, the dinners are happening again. We canceled January 1st because of the snow. Um, February, we're not having it because of the rummage sale. March mm -hmm. is typically when we do the China Sun Buffet. And we were told after the, after the beginning of the year to call and reserve and give them an idea about how many numbers we're expecting and to... Um, plan to do dinner around or that dinner around two o'clock before the dinner rush but then there are going to be the monthly dinners um at the club and at viewpoint park and things like that so we are going to get that going again okay thank you anything else for the good of the club Just happy new year. Happy yeah. new year, everybody. And a better new yep. year. Too. Yes. Here, here. Cheers. All right. Mm. Meeting adjourned. Um, 737. Bye. See you around. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Um.